Welcome back to CTV Morning Live. As we are learning, it is World Thinking Day. This is something that has uh, been brought to you by Girl Guides and Girl Scouts, uh, celebrating this throughout the entire world. Uh, joining us is one of the Girl Guiders. This is Allison Sefton, as well as one of our brownies. This is Molly Vipson and Alexandra O'Brien, who's a Girl Guide. Great to have you guys on the show. Uh, Allison, I'll, I'll, I'll pretty much start with you. Can you give us a background as to what uh, World Thinking Day is all about? Sure. Well, we're, World Thinking Day is a mutual birthday of Lord and Lady Powell, who founded our organization over 100 years ago. So now today, when Girl guides and Girl Scouts all over the world come together to celebrate guiding and promote it and also to think about ways that we can all work together to change our world. So this year the theme is We Can Save Our Earth. So we're learning and doing projects about environmental sustainability. So this, these are projects that the girls are working on when they come to their weekly meetings, when they gather with the, with the group? Yeah, exactly. So last week at our meeting we learned about uh, recycling and they made these really cool slippers out of newspapers, learned about reusing things and then girls all over the world in different countries are also doing projects in their communities as well. Alexandra, how much do you like this project or learning about this? It's um, it's really important mm -hmm. and I find it sort of fun because you get to see what you can do with all these kinds of different materials that you would never expect. And you, and also and during the uh, during the meetings, right, you're doing lots of crafts, you're learning a lot of yeah. different things. What, did, what were you guys making here? We're making um, mi mini windmills mm -hmm. out of some paper that we got from uh, Girl Guides in Japan. In Japan, mm -hmm. so this is paper that they sent in. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful, beautiful paper. Now, Molly, what do you like about going to the to the meetings? Well, like, we do lots of camping. Okay. And um, so we do stuff like cool crafts, like with recycling and like with weird materials. Like one year we did a mat out of like milk. A like, mat out of oh, those are always fun nice. with the milk. I've seen those. Yeah. So you you actually making one of those? Yeah, we made one. And are you learning about recycling? Are you doing things at home as well? Yeah. You're trying to yeah. you're trying to learn. Uh, Allison, what are some of the projects? So I mean, it, it it's constantly building. And also, as the girls get older, they've got more responsibility. They're learning more. Has it been interesting for you to see the development of this program? Oh, absolutely. Well, guiding is all about empowering girls to reach their full potential, giving them the skills to be courageous, confident, and resourceful young women who can ultimately make a difference in their communities and in the world. So they start off as brownies, and mm -hmm. they gain that confidence and those skills by challenging themselves, by trying new activities, and by the time they finish as pathfinders or rangers, they're confident young women who can take on anything. And they've got uh, quite the number of badges. Alexandra, I'm looking at, uh, at the number of badges. Can you recall how you earned each one of those? Well, you basically, you choose some something that you want to do mm -hmm. and you work on it until you get it. So you say, um, well, my pet keeper's badge. I love pets. I have lots of pets. So I kept on working on taking care of my pets and then I showed them what I could do with my pets and then they gave me the badge for taking care of my pets. Is there a badge for World Thinking Day? There is, there is a, it's a worldwide badge that girls mm -hmm. over the world can earn. And there's also a recycling badge in the guide program, for example, that they can earn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're about, uh, our organization has about 10 million members worldwide in 145 countries. So 10 million members, 140. Worldwide. There's yeah. a lot of badges that are being handed out. There then. are a lot of badges being handed out. Is it interesting to see what someone here in Ottawa, Canada will be doing for World Thinking Day compared to someone who's in, you know, London, England, or, you know, somewhere in China, it, 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 that is, got a large spectrum. Yeah, absolutely. I know in uh, Tunisia this year, actually, they're working on projects uh, to help uh, with uh, water sustainability in their communities. So, And also, we sometimes raise funds to help Girl Guides in other countries mm -hmm. uh, with their local projects to help build their communities as well. Well, it's amazing to see. You guys have done an amazing job. You're almost done. That's pretty impressive. We've got brand new ones, but you said there's a ton of these back, right? You guys made tons of these? Yeah. Well, you've gotten to be quite the expert. All right, good luck with everything. Molly, what badge are you working towards now? Um, well... The world, thinking the world thinking day. Good luck with that. I'm sure you will accomplish it. Uh, and keep in mind, there's uh, plenty of information if you if you want at uh, girlguides.ca if you'd like to get your young lady uh, involved in these programs as well. We're going to take a commercial break. We'll think about things for a while uh, and check in with uh, Sarah Freemark. Oh, she's got the muffins. That's where they are this morning. Uh, we'll check back in. She's got the uh, Lazy Boy Chill Chair to give away somewhere in Nepean on a street that starts with the letter P. We're back after this.